I gotta tell you, isn't it much better when I go off script? Isn't that better? Well, first at 11, President Trump goes off script on the campaign trail. He takes more aim at the Biden family and does not hold back. It was an unusual night, to say the least, inside a Minneapolis arena. The president still pushing back against the impeachment inquiry on the same day two associates of his personal lawyer, Rudy Giuliani, were arrested. And there is a South Florida connection. The Democrats brazen attempt to overthrow our government will produce a backlash at the ballot box, the likes of which they have never, ever seen before in the history of this country. President Trump held his first campaign rally since House Democrats launched their impeachment inquiry. Earlier, as the president left the White House, he discussed the arrest of two men with ties to his private lawyer, Rudy Giuliani. I don't know those gentlemen. Now, it's possible I have a picture with them because I have a picture with everybody. Prosecutors say Lev Parnas and Igor Fruman helped arrange meetings between Giuliani and an ousted Ukrainian prosecutor who was investigating the company Joe Biden's son Hunter worked for. The indictment charged them with illegally funneling foreign donations to political campaigns, including $325,000 to a pro-Trump super PAC. As alleged in the indictment, the defendants broke the law to gain political influence while avoiding disclosure of who was actually making the donations and where the money was coming from. Three congressional committees have issued a subpoena for Parnas and Fruman, and they also slapped one on a member of the president's cabinet, Energy Secretary Rick Perry. The indictment also says the Ukrainians worked to influence the removal of the former U.S. ambassador to Ukraine. She is scheduled to testify behind closed doors on Capitol Hill on Friday. However, it's unclear yet if the State Department will block her, as it did with European Union Ambassador Gordon Sunland earlier this week. At the evening rally, the president stayed silent on the Ukrainians who were arrested at the airport with one-way tickets out of the country, but he had a lot to say about Biden. He was only a good vice president because he understood how to kiss Barack Obama and his son, Hunter. A loser. Why did you get $1.5 billion, Hunter? The original whistleblower complaint that set off the investigation apparently references Parnas and Fruman as, quote, associates of Mr. Giuliani, who were trying to make contact with the Ukrainian president. Giuliani's attorney told CBS News the indictment does not involve Mayor Giuliani in any way. He only knew them because they were his clients. Getting back to that South Florida connection, much of what Giuliani's associates actually did here is surrounded by secrecy, but we do know Fruman owns condos in Sunny Isles Beach, and Parnas runs a company in Boca Raton, and we know that they sent $50,000 in campaign donations to Ron DeSantis's campaign for governor. Today, his office confirmed that his political action committee will return that money. The donation was reportedly made just one day before President Trump endorsed DeSantis for governor.